Now let's start making the bear. Make a magic ring first. Wrap the yarn around your fingers like this. Pull the second loop to the front and twist it. Then chain one like this. And let's start round one. To make a single crochet, insert your hook into the ring and then pull the yarn like this. Now you've got two loops on your hook. Yarn over and pull through all two loops and you got one single crochet. For round one, you have to make a total of eight single crochets. When you finished making eight single crochets, pull the tail and the ring will be closed. And then after that, let's start round two. For round two, you will have to make increased stitches for eight times. So, to start round two, make a first single crochet in the first stitch, like this, and then put a stitch marker on that stitch so you will not lose the track of round two. To make an increased stitch, you will have to make two single crochets in each stitch. So like this, make two single crochets in one stitch and also in the next stitch, make two single crochets and it will become an increased stitch. When you reach the start point, which is the first stitch, you will get a total of 16 stitches. To start round 3, remove the stitch marker and then make the very first stitch for round three and then don't forget to don't forget to put the stitch marker back and for round three you will have to make one single crochet and then an increased stitch so now we finished making one single crochet so make an increased stitch in the next stitch that means make two single crochets in the same stitch and you repeat this round three pattern for one time and you will have to repeat this pattern which is one single crochet and increase stitch for eight times in total so make one single crochet in one stitch and an increase stitch into the next stitch and when you reach the starting point you will get a total of 24 single crochets for round four make a single crochet into the first stitch the pattern of the bear, frog, and the cat is all the same, but the ears of the cat will be a little bit different. And I will tell you later when you make the cat. So for round 4, make one single crochet first and then we will add like this ears. To make the ear, yarn over, insert your hook into the next stitch, pull the yarn like this. And now you got three loops on your hook. Yarn over and pull through the first two loops. And yarn over and pull through the last two loops. And you made one double crochet. And then after that, yarn over two times. Insert your hook into the same stitch. Pull the yarn. Yarn over and pull through two. Yarn over and pull through two. And yarn over and pull through the last two loops. And you made one triple crochet. For the bear and the frog, you will have to make two triple crochets but for the cat just make one triple crochet after that make a double crochet into the same stitch so for the bear and the frog there will be four stitches for the ear and for the cat there will be just three stitches for the ear and then after that make a single crochet into the next stitch here just right beside the ear make a single crochet in that stitch and then after that we will make the half double crochet 
Yarn over, insert your hook into the next stitch, pull the yarn, then yarn over and pull through all three loops. And you made one half double crochets. Make a total of 15 half double crochets. And then after 15 half double crochets, make one single crochet. So now we will have to make another ear for the bear and the frog. Make one double crochet, two treble crochets and one double crochet in the same stitch. But for the cat, make one double crochet, only one treble crochet and one double crochet in the same stitch for the ear. So now we are making the ear. So now the second ear is finished and then to end this row make a slip stitch like this and then chain one and cut the yarn. After that repeat this round one to round four again so there will be two appliques and for the second one leave a long toe for sewing. So now we will sew the two appliques together. So here, put the round side inside. The round side will look like this and the right side will look like this. And use your yarn needle and sew the inner loops like this. The loops which are in the inside sew those loops together so what you have to do is just repeat sewing those loops you can use any kinds of sewing ways you want but this is how i sew my keychain plushie And while you are sewing, don't forget to fill inside the plushie. And after that, continue sewing until you reach the start point. And here, I finished sewing and I will secure the yarn like this. And when you finished sewing, don't forget to hide the yarn inside the plushie. So now I will show you how to add a little bow on the bear's ear. Use a long pink or white thread and tie a bow on the ear like this. For the bear's eyes, I used 3mm eyes and for the nose, I will show you how to embroider the face details on the cat one. But now I will show you how to make the bow. So here, this is how I make a tiny bow and I will cut these long tails so a little bow is done now I will show you how to make a loop for the keychain so make a slip knot if you have keychain rings you can use it 
that if you don't have one you can crochet like this so make a slip knot and then attach the yarn on top of the plushie so here attach the loop like this and then after that make 50 chains or more so yarn over and pull through and you got one chain so repeat making this for 50 times or as long as you want so when you get your desired length make a slip stitch in the same stitch that you attach the yarn here make a slip stitch and then after that chain one and cut the yarn tie the two tails like this and then don't forget to hide them inside the plushie so now I will show you how to make cat face details and the frog one so here make two uptakes for the cat for the cat's ears make one double crochet one triple crochet and one double crochet but the other parts are the same with the pattern of the bear so now i will show you how to add whiskers if you have just a thick thread you can separate the thin threads into like this and then embroider the whiskers the eyes and the nose for the little bow on the ear i will show you after this embroidering When you finished embroidering, don't forget to secure the yarn. And now I will show you how to make the bow that you can see on Hello Kitty. So for the Hello Kitty bow, make a slip knot and then insert your hook into the loop and make five chains. One, two, three four and five and then after that skip the first two chains and make a double crochet in the third chain also in the next two stitches make one double crochet each After 3 double crochets, make 2 chains and make a slip stitch into the last stitch and then leave a long tail for sewing. Before sewing the bow, hide the tail of the slip, slip knot or the hide the short tail at the back of the bow.
So now there's only one long tail left. Use it and wrap, wrap it in the middle of the bowl for four or five times. Here like this. Wrap it in the middle of the bowl like this. And then after that, sew it on the cat or maybe the bear. So this is how I add the face details for the cat plushie. And when you finish sewing, don't forget to secure the yarn. And to complete the cat plushie, take the second applique and sew it around and don't forget to fill inside too. Later, I changed the cat's eyes into 3mm bead eyes and for the nose, I used black thread and I embroidered a mini T. Actually, I really love Hello Kitty but the Hello Kitty face I made on my cat plushie is not really giving the vibe so later after this tutorial, I changed it into a normal cat face. Now I will show you how to add a smiling mouth for the frog. The frog pattern is the same with the bear's pattern too. And for the frog, I use 8mm eyes. And to add a smiling mouth, use a long black thread with your yarn needle and embroider like this. So now the tutorial is finished. Congratulations, you made the cutest mini animal keychains. These are not only cute, but also the best gift to give your beloved ones, maybe family or friends. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please don't forget to give a big thumbs up and also click on the subscribe button so I can upload more in the future. And don't forget to follow me on social media. And with that being said, see you all in my next video. Bye-bye!